Hi everyone and welcome to our tutorial. Today we are diving into the world of the custom bot with ECPC AI. You need to navigate to your dashboard. <coughs> and once you are in, please navigate to bot section from the main menu. So and here you can find a button on the top right corner, create a bot and please click on it. You need to put a description of what this uh, bot about. Let's say, okay, I will copy and paste a uh, description of our website just from here section and I click create. Easy PC AI offers a rich set of features to customize your bot. And let's go through all of them one by one. Our system created for you automatically your bot name, avatar and instruction. Let's have a look at instruction. UI and AI multi-tool that offers a wide range of AI powered functionalities and other information based on input what I just put a minute ago. Besides it, you can uh, find different modules and choose modules what you prefer. In my case, I just keep and stick with uh, GPT for all mini. You can make your bot publicly available or if you toggle off this button, it won't be available for public. Okay, now we need to navigate to knowledge base. Under knowledge section, you can fit specific information or documents to your bot to make it smarter. This helps uh, in personalizing responses based on your unique data about your uh, business. So, and here in my case, I need to put website URL. I copy and paste here website URL and I click add. Under appearance section, uh, you can customize how your bot looks. You can choose the avatar, team color, and even font to match your brand's identity. And let's update uh, the color, background color for our bot. I click save. So now it's more purple. So, and I'd like to update this part as well. Okay, make it purple as well, but darker. So I click save. So now it looks better. Okay. Next section is leads. Leads is crucial for marketing and sales. Here you can configure your bot to collect user information. And actually this information can be useful for your lead generation and follows up you need to toggle on display leads. In the history section, you can see and track all interactions with your bot. This is, uh, you know, useful for understanding how users are engaging with your bot and improving its responses. Later on, we will uh, get back to this section when we will test our bot. Embedding. So want to integrate your bot uh, directly into your website or application, there is no issue. The embedding section provides you with a code snippet and with link uh, URL and iframe. iframe can be uh, embed anywhere. So and uh, we will use public URL to see the boot online. Yes, now it's available online. So EasyPC AI supports various integrations with other tools and platforms and uh, make it easy to manage all your workflow and under, let's say, WhatsApp integration, that is integration guide, step-by-step, -step, 
you can follow the instruction and actually integrate your bot with WhatsApp directly. We have integration with Zyper, WordPress, HTML, and we have API for our bots. If you need to remove your bot, you can do it by clicking on the delete option. This is uh, permanently remove the bot and its data. So use this feature with caution. And of course, uh, you will be notified. Uh, are you sure that you want to delete this bot? So you need to cancel or actually confirm it. Okay, now uh, let's test our bot and ask any question regarding website. Let's say what is the date of of the next workshop? The next workshop scheduled for Friday, September 20, from 1 to 4 p.m. This is true. And if you look at the website itself, so we have upcoming workshop dates, Friday, September 20, from 1 to 4 p.m. So, and now we need to see if this question in our history let's refresh the page yes see what is the date of the next workshop and they reply so all interactions with this bot will be recorded so now you created your first chatbot and got it online thank you for joining us in this hands-on journey with easy peasy ai and happy creating see you next time